that you notice had a post views are now called impressions. This is not just a change of name. They've also given a better explanation about what it means because it doesn't literally mean that someone saw it. It means that it was showed that when people scroll past, they could have seen it. But that's not the biggest thing. The thing is they've now given us way more analytics because ultimately, you know, it's easy to get hung up on the numbers. But ultimately what matters is who's behind those numbers. If you're targeting a local audience, you want to know if that's the people who are engaging with your posts. If you are targeting people in a certain industry, you want to know if they are the ones that are engaging with your post. So not just the impressions, but the actual people that engage with it. And this is the really cool thing, because you can now, when you go to one of your posts and you see the number of impressions, it also gives you analytics. And when you click that, you really, really want to play around with it. There's so many filters there. It is amazing. The other thing is um, when you log on to LinkedIn and then on that side on the left, there's also a thing that says impressions. This is the total of impressions of all your posts over the past seven weeks. And if you click that, you can, for example, filter it by 90 days or a year. And then you see this chart and you see the peak so you can find when did you do something that really worked. But that is just impressions. I am most excited about the analytics that they now give us about the people who engage with your post. So if you haven't seen it yet, go over to your profile, find a post, click on analytics next to impressions and go wild exploring. Have fun.